what is the value of x given that the square root of 3x all over x is equal to 5. Well, on the left hand side, x cannot be 0. The reason is because if x is 0, it makes the expression on the left to be undefined. Now, how do we solve this? Our first step will be for us to cross multiply. So we have to use this x here to multiply the 5 so that we have the square root of 3x to be equal to x times 5 is 5x. Now to get rid of this square root, we take the square of both sides. So we have 3x, which is the square root of 3x, take the square of the left, equal to, here we have 5x, we also take the square of the right. Now notice that this square cancels out the square root, leaving behind 3x to be equal to. Now, expanding this, we have 5 squared, which gives 25, and x squared, so 25x squared. Now, our next step will be for us to move 3x to the right-hand side, so that we have 0 remaining on the left, to be equal to, we have 25x squared, and as 3x crosses to the right, it becomes minus 3x. This expression can also be written as 25x squared minus 3x equals to 0 by flipping the positions of the left and the right. Now notice that x is common, so we can factor out x, open bracket, 25x squared divided by x, we have 25x minus 3x divided by x, we have 3. And this is equal to 0. So we have two cases from here. We have x to be equal to 0, or we have 25x minus 3 to be equal to 0. Now, like we said before, x cannot be 0, so we're going to be rejecting this. Now, to get the value of x from here, we have to move negative 3 to the right so that we have 25x to be equal to, as negative 3 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 3. Now, to get the value of x, we have to divide both sides by 25. Now, see that 25 cancels out 25, leaving behind x to be equal to 3 all over 25. Now, let's check. On checking, we're going to be putting x equal to 3 over 25 in our original equation. So we have the square root of 3 times x. x is 3 over 25 all over x. x is 3 over 25. So we're checking if we're going to be having 5 as a result. Now, 3 times 3 is 9, so we have the square root of 9 all over 25, all over the denominator 3 over 25. So we check if we're going to be having 5 as the result. Now, this square root affects the numerator and the denominator here. So the square root of 9 is 3 all over, the square root of 25 is 5 all over, 3 over 25. So we check if we're going to be having 5 as a result. Now this expression can also be written as the numerator, which is 3 over 5, divided, which is this, by 3 over 25. 3 over 25. So we're checking if we have 5 as a result. Now this becomes 3 over 5. We're going to be changing this division to multiplication times and we'll flip 25 and 3. 25 becomes the numerator while 3 becomes the denominator. Would this be equal to 5? 3 here can cancel out 3. Now 5 here 1, 5 here 5. So we have 5 on the left, 
which is equal to the 5 on the right. So our value for x equal to 3 over 25 is actually correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.